educational institutions, the cornerstones of nation building. This is 10 year old Mpumulelo Africa. He knows the importance of education but dreams of becoming a professional footballer. Since the 2010 FIFA World Cup, South African youth have been walking in the clouds more than ever. My ambition and my dream is to hopefully one day play professional football, hopefully in Europe. My ambition is to represent my country again. My biggest dream is to play overseas. That's where I want to be. Mpume wants to live the dream. For a school learner, the Metropolitan Under-16 Cup represents the first step towards that dream. In a local football magazine, Mpume recently discovered that the Metropolitan Premier Cup is the ultimate platform for youth footballers to showcase their talent. The Bay Hill, as it was previously known, has been taking place over Easter weekend for 24 years without failure. Mpume is still too young to play in the Bay Hill, but decided to go experience the thrills of the competition. Only the best local and international under-19 club teams qualify. Some of the biggest academies, including Premier Soccer League clubs, participate. All in all, this makes the Metropolitan Premier Cup the oldest, the biggest and the most successful youth football competition on the African continent. For aspiring youth footballers like Mpumi, the Metropolitan Premier Cup represents the ultimate opportunity. I think it's a great opportunity for me as a young footballer to be here and compete amongst the best teams here in South Africa. I can compare myself to the best in the country. It is important to play in this team tournament because it's towards making my, my dream. And it's a step forward because now everyone can see me that I'm a good player. I think it's one of the biggest soccer tournaments in South Africa, uh, considering all of the major PSL academies come down to Cape Town to try and win this prestigious tournament. For over 23 years, Cape Town clubs have been ruling the roost at the Metropolitan Premier Cup. But that trend has been under threat from clubs up north. Last year, Comercio FC made history. The Namibian side beat ASD Cape Town 3-2 in the final and became the first club outside South Africa to lift the coveted title. It's been three years since a club from the mother city scooped the title. So Mpumi is keen to witness who will lift the 24th edition of the Metropolitan Premier Cup. Since October last year, over 150 local clubs battled to qualify for the prestigious event. Uh, what is special this year, especially for the Cape Town teams, is that most of the, the teams that we did not expect to qualify have qualified. Now it, it, it augurs well for the event, especially for the Cape Townians. The launch and draw was a glittering function at Cape Town Stadium. I can take any PSL team sheet now, today, or whenever we play them. And I can say that one played, this one played, that one played. 32 teams went into the hat to be drawn into eight groups of four teams. 2011 runners-up and favourites ASD Cape Town found themselves in a tough group with Orlando Pirates, City Lovers and Hanover Park. The opening ceremony and march pass was an exciting mixture of talent. The traditional Easter Friday bonanza reached a climax with spectacular fireworks. This set the tone for one of the most anticipated fixtures of the group stages. 2011 runners-up ASD Cape Town versus Glamour Club Orlando Pirates. Both teams went at each other from the start. Brandon Fernandez scored with this spectacular long-range strike to give ASD the lead with four minutes remaining. But the young sea robbers rallied back. Luyandam Tembu ensured the Buccaneers earned a share of the spoil. After winning their first match, Hanover Park was confident going into their match against the mighty Orlando Pirates. But this was always going to be the acid test. Both sides played enterprising football, but this Pirates goal proved to be the difference. Orlando Pirates qualified top of the Group A log standings with 8 points. Hanover Park also progressed to the last 16 in 2nd place. 
Host club Bayhill United was drawn in Group B with the University of Pretoria, Morgan Stay United and Stars of Africa Academy. Stars started the tournament on a good note with a smart 1-0 win over Tux. Although the University of Pretoria lost their opening match against Stars of Africa, they recovered well by beating Morgan Stair and host club Bayhill United. With three wins from as many matches, Stars of Africa Academy sped into the last 16, followed by Tux. 2009 runners-up Morocco Swallows, Marty's Swallows of Port Elizabeth and Mr. Price Parkhurst formed Group C. Marty's, led by legend Reggie Janchis, made their debut at the Premier Cup and proved to be a surprise package. On day one, Marty's beat Mr. Price 1-0. But in the next match, the much-fancied Morocco Swallows brought the Stellenbosch side down to earth, beating them 3-1. Morocco Swallows took top honours in Group C, while the University of Stellenbosch proved equally impressive. Group D consisted of Cape Town Academy, Golden Arrow, Berea Albion and Platinum Star. Premier Soccer League under-19 sides usually overpower local amateur teams. But it was not the case when Platinum Stars met Berea Albion. Berea thrashed the Buffalo King side 4-0. Seven points, Cape Town Academy reached the last 16. Golden Arrows also qualified. Glen Dean United were drawn in Group E with 2009 champions Mamelodi Sundowns, Harmony Academy and Junction Rovers. Mamelodi Sundowns started the tournament like a house on fire and thumped Junction Rovers 4-0, sending out a clear message. With two wins and a draw, Glendine did well to finish ahead of Mamelodi Sundowns at the summit of the Group E log. Two-time champion Santos fell in Group F with Philippi United, Mpumalanga Black Aces and Idas Valley. Three minutes into the match, Philippi received a penalty from this foul. Gabriel Nkanti took the honours. But Kolele Msheshwe started and finished the second. Then the Idas Valley keeper fumbled, Tapelo Sitfesh's free kick and Msheshwe made it 3-0. The Idas Valley and Mpumalanga Black Aces match produced five goals. Mpumalanga playing one ace more. Santos and Philippi United were the top dogs in Group F. Group G saw 2010 champions Super Sports United, School of Excellence, Crusaders and Valhalla United do battle. Matsatsansa secured their place in the next round with another classy performance against the School of Excellence. Sports United made light work of Group G. School of Excellence progressed with a superior goal difference. 
One of the most successful teams in the tournament's history, Ajax Cape Town, were grouped with Milano United, Aces Academy and Ariel Spurs. Local favourites, Ajax Cape Town found it tough against Milano United. The match could have gone either way. But the Urban Warriors just managed to squeeze past the Grassy Park side with this goal from Zakir Williams. Ajax then smacked Aces 11 Warriors collected maximum points during the group stage and advanced with Milano United. Humpume knows the Metropolitan Premier Cup has long been a platform to rise to fame for youth footballers. Benny McCarthy is just one of many examples. In 1995, he was named Player of the Tournament and from there on shot to international stardom. Steven Pinar, Nasif Morris, Matthew Booth, Munib Joseph, Brett Evans, Tulani Serrero and Kermit Erasmus are just a few of numerous players who were touched by the magic of the Metropolitan Premier Cup. It was a massive stepping stone for me. Uh, without it, um, I might not have become a professional footballer. Uh, that's where I got spotted at the end of the day. So now I'm very grateful for that opportunity. I'm very proud to, to belong to a very long list of players, professional players and national team players who have come out of that tournament. When I grew up, I always heard people talking about the Bail, Bail this and Bail that. And you saw all the, the big players that went overseas played in the Bail. So you all, I always saw that as a, as a stepping stone. For, for, you, for you as a footballer. I think it was very important for me because at that stage it was a make or break moment in my career and I was doing very well. So I had just been promoted to the, to the Vela team at the uh, University of Victoria. I had that experience for four years in that competition which uh, helped me grow as a player and uh, also like lift my standards as a football player like uh, for that level as well. And uh, I think it was a stepping stone for me going into the future, like uh, to a higher level, uh, uh, playing also in the PSL and uh, then abroad. Humpumi is mapping his path to success. Scouts from around the country mark the event boldly in their diaries. And that's the very reason he wants to compete in the Metropolitan Premier Cup. My philosophy has always been to try and identify and uh, attract the best young talent in the country uh, where one can make a real difference as opposed to just taking players who are already established. So that's why I'm here to uh, broaden my base in terms of, of young talent in the country and I believe that this is one of the best tournaments, youth tournaments in the country to be able to identify such talent. My mission here is to make sure that I identify the talent and uh, but the primary role is to see uh, the level at which the country is because this is uh, actually the best uh, tournament uh, in the country at the moment. Humpume wants to emulate those who rose to fame. But the Premier Cup is not only a platform for players, coaches, administrators and match officials all use the tournament to prove their mettle. The tournament reached fever pitch in the knockout stage. The Sea Robbers sailed into the quarterfinals with a 2-0 win over Golden Arrows. Stars of Africa sent Martis back to the Winelands with the same scoreline. Tux caused an upset by sending the birds flying. Hanover Park beat Cape Town Academy 2-1. Milano dashed Glendine's hopes with a 2-0 win. While Santos hit their straps with a fine 2-1 win over the School of Excellence. A penalty shootout determined the winner between Super Sport and Philippi. The Chili Boys walking off 5-3 to the good. Sundowns experienced the same fate in their clash with a 4-3 shootout win against Ajax Cape Town. Like those who rose to fame at the Metropolitan Premier Cup, Philippi United's Bako Lele Mshesue looked to become another. 
The Philippi number seven again proved his mettle when he capitalized on a goalkeeping error and sent the Chili Boys into the break with a 1-0 lead. Mishweshwe doubled the advantage 10 minutes into the second half. Anele Dalvani, another impressive player, the craftsman. Minutes later, Lungile Mayikiso was brought down in the penalty area by Jared van den Berg. And Mshweshwe completed his hat trick. Hannibal Park caused a stir when they grabbed the lead against the on. Ryan Abrams made a good run from the right before setting up Hanif Karim. But Santos drew level in the second half. Ricardo Forster found Yasin Ceres. Five minutes later, Santos made it 2-1. Substitute Carl Locke tapping in. But the match took another twist when Hanover Park equalized minutes before the final whistle through Ryan Abrams. The match was then decided on penalties. The Milano Stars encounter produced a tough contest. Late in the second half, Milano United's goalkeeper failed to cover Lindani Vlamini's cross and Brandon Turan took full advantage, sealing a semi-final berth for Farouk Khan's charges. In a clash of the Giants, Mamelodi Sundowns met Orlando Pirates in the quarter-final. Lipoko Tsepo was another player rising to fame. The Pirates midfielders sealed their place in the semi-final. Metropolitan has been involved with the Premier Cup since its inception. So much so that its sponsorship has shaped the landscape of South African youth football. We've been involved with Bay Hill United for the last 23 years in terms of the Premier Cup. So it's very much a long-standing relationship that we have and it's worked particularly well for us. I think our tournaments just get better and better with each passing year. So it's, a, it's really a fantastic opportunity to showcase our involvement in developmental football. But this commitment stretches far beyond the field of play. All players who compete in metropolitan football properties attend obligatory life skills symposiums, like in this session at the Metropolitan Premier Cup over Easter weekend. Issues like HIV and AIDS, building your own brand, and dealing with media were presented by industry professionals. Stars of Africa equaled last year's achievement by reaching the semi-finals and was eager to go one step further. Stars had a slight upper hand in the first half. Ten minutes into the second half, Filippi's Anele Dialvani combined with Timpiwe Lumquana, whose flick set up Capello Sitreche, who made no mistake in beating Lee Smith in the Stars' goal. But midway through the second half, Stars received a golden opportunity to equalize. Brandon Tehran was fouled in the Philippi penalty area and the referee pointed to the spot. But Cloto Lipile failed to produce the big match temperament required to convert the resulting spot kick. From then on, Stars threw everything at the match to create an equalizer. Tibang Sindile headed over. But it was not to be. The final whistle sent Stars packing and Filippi into the finals. I guess it just wasn't your day and uh, we saw the cruel side of football today. I think luck just wasn't on our side today. But I think the guys did well, kept the ball nicely. But most of all we enjoyed. The other semi-final was an all-PSL clash. Old foes Orlando Pirates squared off against Santos. And the match proved a humdinger. 
Santos through first blood in the first half through Carl Locke. But you could sense that the goal was just the start of a dramatic encounter. Ten minutes later, Pirates equalised. Sachin Dawood fouled Lipoko Tepo just outside the Santos penalty area. Lipoko then drove a stunning shot into the roof of the Santos goal to make it 1-1. In the second half, Santos created numerous opportunities but failed to convert. Suhail Ali rattled the Pirates' goal with this shot. The match looked set to go either way, but fate favoured the Buccaneers. Deep into the second half, Nubo Sakile decided the match and sent Pirates into their first ever Premier Cup final. Playing against Philippi in Cape Town is going to be a bit tight because uh, playing in Cape Town is always difficult for the uh, uh, Gauteng teams. So the stage for the 2012 Metropolitan Premier Cup final was set for a mouth-watering encounter. The unfancied Philippi United against glamour club Orlando Pirates. Both clubs reaching the final for the very first time. The opening minutes of the match produced an even contest with both teams playing attractive football. But Philippi threatened the Pirates' goal with more aggression. But Tolele Sheshwe producing the magic. Pirates had their first attempt on goal midway through the first half. Nsibi Sibosiso set up Mtembulu Yanda, whose curling shot was narrowly wide. Philippi increased the intensity and from this passing move, Tapelo Sitesche's shot was well foiled by the Pirate stopper. Pirates were also guilty of failing to score. With some neat one-two play, Mtembulu Yanda created another chance. This time Koza Sandile couldn't find the target. 90 minutes failed to break the deadlock and the match went into extra time. And with a penalty shootout looming, Mzwandilim Kwakwa broke Pirates' heart. Pirates went in search of an equalizer, but it was all in vain. The result caused one of the biggest upsets in the Metropolitan Premier Cup history. Team, it means a lot because you know when you're developing these young boys, you would love to see uh, an end product. For achieving this illustrious feat in their first ever appearance at the Metropolitan Premier Cup, congratulations go to Philippi United for lifting the prestigious 2012 Metropolitan Premier Cup in spectacular style. Now Mpume wants that dream to be his reality. But there's no substitute for hard work. Alone, Mpumalelo can't achieve the dream. But together, we all can prosper on the African continent. Celebrate the symbols of metropolitan football. <laughs>